comic books and other comic book fans are upset. All new on the edge, Fox 2's Shandrea Thomas spoke to the victim and those who are coming to his rescue. Shandrea. Well, Sandy, news of the uh, Superman theft hit the web last week and it's picked up a lot of steam. You can see right here websites like Facebook as well as Twitter have been filled with comments from people who want to help out and comic book lovers say this is a horrible crime. They want to do everything they can to help get those comic books back. This is supposed to be what that man looks like that stole my stuff. Mike Myers has been collecting Superman comic books and memorabilia for more than 30 years. A collection he took pride in, like these drawings of his favorite comic book characters. But that happiness quickly turned into frustration. But he, he stole a part of me. He invaded my privacy. This after a couple known as Gary and Sarah asked to see his collection. They distracted him and stole more than 1,800 comic books and collectibles, taking advantage of his mental disability. You wouldn't believe the stuff this man has stolen. I mean, I had... I had Superman comics, Ashen comics, Superman the Man of Steel, the Man of Superman the Man of Tomorrow. There was a little like uh, series, the Superman Adventures. Word of the Superman theft spread on the internet on blogs, Twitter, and Facebook. That's how Charlie Atkins found out. He, along with many others, decided they wanted to help. They stopped by Kyle's Cards and Comics to donate and build a new collection. First up was Atkins, who gave Myers his own stash of Superman comics and figurines. It was a little heart-wrenching seeing as how I've, I've got a huge collection of my own and had that happen to me, I'd be pretty livid. Mike is glad to see that others care, but has this message for the people who stole his pride and joy. I know who you are, who you really are, and nothing would please me more than to see you put behind bars and locked up. You don't need a costume to be a hero at all. You just step up and do the right thing. That's good enough. Now, we contacted Granite City Police Department, and so far there are no updates in the case. And for those who want to donate to Mike Myers' collection, you can go to Kyle's Comics in Granite City. Just give them a call, uh, and we'll link you to their website on our information on our website, fox2now.com. In the Web Center, Shandrea Thomas, Fox 2 News.